Hello everybody. I've been asked to give a review on the new Razer AMG UH-1. So I figured we'd uh, do it video style. Before I get started, there is a little subscribe button right down there in that corner. If you don't mind hitting that so you can see all the other videos I make and the ones to come. You may enjoy a few of them. We have a little bit of fun when we go out and shoot. shoot. So, this razor, people ask, do you like it? And is it bulky? That's the two biggest questions I've gotten so far. It is a little bulky, but it actually fits, as you can see. Let's get right here so you can see the contrast. It does look good on a rifle. I believe the way it is, it does line up very nicely. I've had it out in the sun, looking not directly at the sun, but right at the bottom of the sun. And because of this tilt glass, it does reduce the glare and the razor coating, of course. One of the things I really like about this that most Vortex electronics don't have, that I didn't like in the past, is one touch, that thing is on right now. The other thing is two buttons, one touch, it's off. And don't matter which button you hit, it's gonna come on instantly. It is kind of neat that it has a 14 hour runtime. You can override that and make it not ever shut off. It also has a charging port here that you can replace the battery with a rechargeable battery and you can keep this thing on a charger. Say for law enforcement, you could keep it in a gun rack and it'd be left on all the time if you really wanted to. But with it charging, you know it will be ready to go. The reticle inside in this here, I do enjoy because 10 yards, sweeping a house, whatever you want to do, use the bottom of that triangle and you got it. And the fact that it will go to 400 yards is pretty neat. I, I enjoy that. I'm excited to go out coyote hunting this fall and see how that works out. I used to use a scope on top with a side mount red dot so that way I could get my close shot, long shot on coyotes. I'm excited to try this out and see how it does for that. So my overall opinion of it, it is going to be a good little unit. It's supposed to be shock proof and shatter proof. Am I willing to test it? Maybe. I might have to. I might have to go drop it. Um, of course, we always got that exceptional Vortex warranty, so at least they'll cover it. So if you get your chance to get one or get to go play with one, I urge you to. I think you'll really like it. Um, I'm enjoying mine, and I don't see too many drawbacks on it. Other than it's a little bit heavier, but we're not really worried about weight sometimes, are we? And uh, I do like, also, before I go, it is a nice and thin edge around here. So you don't have that EOTech large bulkiness where you kind of have an air gap between the lens and the outer casing. So this one you could kind of, you don't have that looking through that gap, that air gap. I don't like that on the Yotex. So this, this is kind of solved on that. Can shoot two eyes open. You can, you, well I can anyway, be looking around and looking through. So like I said, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll uh, be doing some more reviews here shortly. Uh, my next one, I'm gonna try to do the uh, the digit trigger. I'm excited for that one. Can't wait. And uh, when we review it, we'll be doing it with tracers because there's nothing more fun than just to launch some fire. So thanks for watching. Subscribe and enjoy the next few videos coming up and check out the old ones. Thank you.